Okay, so for you guys that have been following my channel, uh, you know that I've got a PSA AKP, and um, I have had a pretty good time shooting this gun, and I like it, aside from one issue that to me is a pretty big issue. Uh, pretty much what's happening, this uh, little Allen screw is backing out, and this is a hinge top cover. The rear part is here, and the second part is the rest of this Picatinny section that connects to the uh, recoil spring. Now, um, it's hinged with a roll pin there, and they replaced that when I sent it back. And then it stops right here, and the two pieces are kind of sandwiched together by this uh, little Allen screw. So you can see where the threads come out the bottom, and there's a little hole there that kind of goes down, and you can see the uh, gas piston. So that's a pretty big issue to me because um, that piece here, it uh, it holds both of your sighting systems. It holds your irons, your rear sight, and the Picatinny rail for whatever type of sight you're going to put on there. And why have a Picatinny rail at all if um, your whatever red dot or optic you put on there is not going to hold zero? So to me, that's a big deal. It might not be a big deal to you. So I sent it back to PSA. Um, they applied that dark gray type... Uh, a rock set um, some type of thread locker material and I'm gonna run this 75 round drum through it and then test out a couple muzzle brakes and see if that moves all right see what happens all right 75 round KCI drum PSA back from repair <laughs> Alright, it's uh, 75 rounds. I don't know if you guys could tell, but uh, that break was gassing me out. So, uh, it's a little warm. I feel no heat from the handguard so far. See, uh, yep, that KCI drum. Went through all 75 rounds, and uh, so far, it's held in place. Now what I'm gonna do with this Krebs, since this is hot, let my barrel will cool down. I'm gonna use this lock back here to uh, let this gun act like a chimney and suck all the heat up top, let it cool down while I'm getting ready to test these muzzle devices. All right. All right, so uh, here's what I got going on next. All right, to uh, keep this thing hot, but uh, I'm not trying to not trying to kill my barrel because it's my gun. So I'm gonna try to uh, keep this thing hot, keep some more vibration on it, and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do? I got three different targets. I'm gonna test three different muzzle devices. I got a paper plate there. I think it's like six inches. And uh, what I'm gonna do is try to keep a good consistent group into uh, each group to kind of test the recoil but also film this in slow motion so you guys can see the muzzle rise and you know the qualities of the, uh, the brake and what it's doing. So what I have here is the ME military equipment brake and it looks like a PWS. Um, now the, I guess I've had a small problem with this. It was so loose that I filed it down some to fit but now this is kind of like doesn't lock in. Uh, the metal doesn't come out enough to allow this pin to engage so I'm not really sure what I can do with that yet. So um, that's a little problem I've had with this. But I got this from Legion USA. Uh, it's like 35 bucks. Uh, the other two that I'm gonna test is this uh, crank booster from PSA. And then I'm gonna test this uh, other brake that you guys have seen from Definitive Arms. That uh, I already like this one. I haven't shot this one yet. And uh, we're gonna see the effectiveness as far as keeping rounds on target and uh, you guys can make judgment calls for yourself as far as flash, fireball, and uh, whatever else you might um, 
see from the video. All right, that's all I got. Let's uh, shoot these and see what happens. All right, so the first up is this ME brake from Legion USA. Now I've got the Nanorzine to uh, run 25 rounds through it. All right. All right, that was the ME equipment with the uh, Nanorzine banana clip. Okay, so the next muzzle device we're going to test is this PSA crank booster. And we've got the surplus bolt hole open magazine to test that out with. These fit a little more snug in the gun, but they seem to work. Now, one thing to note with these uh, BHO magazines is when the follower kicks up and it holds the bolt back, the bolt is pushing on the back of that follower. So when you're trying to kick out mags, it requires a little more pressure than a regular AK mag would. All right, let's see what this one does. On the tone. Boop. And you can see that locked back. Okay, so the next muzzle device is the Definitive Arms. This puts out a pretty good fireball still, but has good brake capabilities. And uh, it does help push a lot of the concussion out. Uh, with that ME muzzle device, uh, all the uh, the gases and emissions were kind of like, were kind of killing me back there. I was kind of holding my breath when I was shooting that 75 round drum. Um, that's kind of why I stopped shooting. <laughs> I thought about giving up, but I powered through it. So, um, all right. We're gonna test this uh, this break with this X-Tech magazine. And these are a little thick, but they're heavy duty. They've been feeding really reliably and uh, they should be pretty tough. Plus they're US, uh, US made, so that's always good as long as it works. All right. Let's see if we got all rounds expended. And the moment of truth, we have no movement in the Allen screw. Let's see if you guys can see that. Gun smoking. No movement of that Allen screw. So we've had 75 round drums put through and then three 25 round mags put through and it seems like this thing is holding so far. All right.
So I've got two paint cans that are empty. Tape to the top of those um, Ipsic targets or whatever you want to call them, the BC targets. I cut those out of plywood. And just so you guys know, they did have some holes in them uh, prior to this video, but um, they do have fresh paint. So when you're looking at the round placement, um, keep that into consideration. All right, this is probably one of my favorite mags, especially for this gun, 20 round P mag. You know what, for this, I might as well do a slob squat. And nothing happened. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, so I had three tests. I shot that 75 round drum, three magazines, and here's what we're looking like. I also fired a couple shots in the end, maybe like five rounds or so. Alright, we'll uh, see what happens.